You love nature? But I don't. Well, not that way. After this video, you'll see a side of it that makes you think twice about loving it. Every bridge you've crossed, every plane you've boarded, every skyscraper you've looked up at, they shouldn't exist. Nature doesn't want them here. Gravity is pulling them down. Wind is trying to rip them apart. And entropy, the universe's law of decay, is making sure nothing we build will ever last. This is the hidden war between engineers and nature. It's a constant, grinding battle for survival. And if you stick around, you'll see how every invention is really a defense line against these relentless attacks. A villain you can't even see. Entropy. The second law of thermodynamics says that everything tends toward disorder. It's why your hot coffee gets cold, why your car's engine eventually dies, and why every road gets those tiny, inevitable cracks. For engineers, entropy is an invisible tax collector. Every bridge, every power grid, every skyscraper demands constant energy and endless maintenance just to fight this decay. Here's the crazy part. Engineers don't even try to beat entropy. They just delay it. They're buying us time with clever designs and new materials, pushing back the inevitable. This is why nothing we build is meant to last forever. It's a living thing that begins to die the moment it's finished. The miracle isn't that our creations are permanent, it's that they're still standing at all. Imagine the ground beneath your feet turning against you. Earthquakes can release more energy in seconds than all the nuclear bombs ever tested. Nature's shockwave doesn't care about our blueprints or grand plans. Engineers fight back with clever tricks, like giant shock absorbers that let buildings dance with the tremor instead of fighting it. It's why you see Japan's skyscrapers sway gracefully. They're performing a terrifying ballet with the Earth. Earthquakes make headlines, but this next villain is a silent killer. I'm talking about corrosion. Rust alone costs the world trillions every year. It's a slow, quiet, chemical war that most people never think about. Bridges collapse, pipelines leak, and ships weaken not from a sudden force, but from a relentless, quiet attack by oxygen. Engineers try to fight back with paints and special coatings, but corrosion never sleeps. The Titanic isn't just resting at the bottom of the ocean, it's being slowly consumed by rusticles right now. The most bizarre part of this war is that life itself is on the attack. It's called microbiologically influenced corrosion, MIC. Tiny bacteria that live in the soil or water produce chemicals that eat through metal, quietly and invisibly. It's a biological attack on our pipelines and foundations. It's a reminder that nature's tools of destruction are often living, adapting, and relentless. And then there are the elements. Wind that bends towers, water that undermines dams, and storms that tear apart entire cities. Engineers respond with pure genius. The Burj Khalifa, it spirals upward to confuse the wind, tricking it into flowing around the building instead of against it. Holland's seawalls aren't just barriers. They're a masterpiece of engineering that holds back an entire ocean. But with climate change, the stakes are rising. Every new generation of engineers faces stronger, more unpredictable enemies. But what if the solution isn't to fight the elements, but to surrender to them? In places like the Netherlands and Japan, some engineers are designing floating structures that don't resist floods. They rise with them. These houses and buildings are built to float like boats, moving with the water. It's a fundamental shift in philosophy from conquering nature to simply dancing with it. So, what's the lesson here? Engineers don't create monuments that last forever. They create temporary sanctuaries for us systems that buy us time, decades, maybe centuries, before nature takes it all back. 
Entropy never sleeps, earthquakes never warn, corrosion never pauses, and storms never stop. But each bridge, skyscraper, or jet engine stands as proof that, for now, humanity holds the line. The real miracle isn't that our machines are perfect, it's that they stand at all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want more deep dives like this.